Uh, a lot of times coming up with a title allows me to go ahead and flesh out an idea. When I was, I had this kind of vague idea that I wanted to make a movie of zombie businessmen walking around in this nether world. And I uh, wasn't sure how to frame, how to frame that to make it art as opposed to just a riff on old uh, 1960s movies. It's kind of most inspired by this movie called uh, Carnival of Souls. And it's about this organist who is in a deadly car crash and she shows up for a job at this church but she keeps on having these experiences that can't be explained where she's these dead people are coming after her. So uh, there's a little bit of uh, The Mask, which was a 19, early 60s, 3D Canadian horror film about a guy who, whose patient, a psychiatrist whose patient comes to him saying, oh, I put this mask on and horrible things happen. I think I killed somebody. And so the psychiatrist eventually puts the mask on and has these bizarre dream experiences. And they're all shot on this relatively small set that's got a lot of fake uh, fog running around it. So these are uh, part of the aesthetic inspiration. Another is that back in the 60s, before The Exorcist, makeup usually consisted of just some kind of crap and mixed with latex, like oatmeal, on your face. There wasn't a lot of effort put into it. They didn't use molds very often. And the monster was, you got away with it by underlighting it and showing it f very seldom. And I was interested in that sort of abex aspect to it all. But I also decided to frame the whole thing in some sort of filmic terms because it's part of an ongoing series that are set in this religion I've made up called Oism. So I thought, well, I'll just say that these are Oist films and they follow Oist film rules. I have yet to make up those film rules, but the films are both shot structurally so that each shot is a different shot like here's a dutch angle this angled this way here's a dutch angle that way here's a zoom in here's a zoom out here's a pan right here's a pan left and each one has its own symbolic meaning um, so the first one begins with this woman uh, who's trying to trying to get rid of a hole in her wall and she looks inside and sees this other world. I suppose that's inspired a bit by the radiator in Eraserhead, although I wasn't thinking that at the time, consciously. And uh, so after a while the camera goes inside the head of one of the zombie businessmen and enters a land of uh, just pure fabric. And again this was part of the aesthetics of the era, the early 60s, where your special effects could be just a bottle with a bunch of junk in it, shot the right way with a overamped organ as a soundtrack and a little bit of theremin. So I was, I was going over to the aesthetics of that era, um, and I kind of felt like I had to make the fabric part overarchingly dominant so that it wasn't just a, a nostalgia exercise, that it, it kind of forced its way into the world of art. Would you please set aside a few minutes to enjoy the whole? 